my dear teachers students parents and all our friends who join us in the celebration of the feast of our co-founders saint maria masarello <clears throat> all of us in particular the salesian sisters and all our pupils long for the 13th of may the feast of our co-founders we prepare for this great day with prayers other spiritual preparation and also material preparation in order to celebrate this great feast of our mother to express a love and devotion to her with all our schools all over the world today is a great celebration unfortunately this year again we have to face the challenge of this pandemic yet we cannot overlook in a small little way but big way in our hearts we celebrate the feast of our mother saint maria masarello for us sisters salesian sisters she is a model of her love for god her love for jesus and her love for Mary, the mother of Jesus. And she has proof with her very own life. Her love for God did not spare her, her strength, her energy, but she reached out to all those who are in need of her, of her love, of her help because she loved God first and she showed her love for God by loving others she loved Jesus very much so much so every day she used to get up early in the morning to be able to go to church to meet Jesus in the Holy Mass even though the church is far away from her house but Maria Masarello managed to do it because she loved Jesus she prayed to Mary the mother of Jesus much and she sought her help and protection throughout her life and we know from her life story that Mary was everything for her she was a guide she was a mother she was her inspirer and she was so to say everything for her today <coughs> I wish all of you a very happy feast of a mother today she is a saint in heaven. She is a powerful intercessor for us before the throne of God. Let us ask her to come to our aid, to intercede before God that this pandemic will come to an end. In fact, she is the right saint in heaven who can do this because while she was young, she too experienced the challenge of the great epidemic when many people in Italy were affected with typhoid. She offered herself to help the sick people in her village, particularly the family of her uncle. Her parents 
did not agree when she asked them to allow her to do this act of charity in serving the sick member of her uncle's family. She convinced her parents that she should do that and they give her permission. When the whole family got over this sickness, she herself was affected. She lost her strength, but she prayed to God to give back her strength and she promised him that she would do something for his glory. And that's how God accepted her prayers and gradually as time passed, she became the first Salishan sister along with her companions and she became the mother general of the congregation of the Salishan sisters, our congregation. That's why I say she is the saint who is very powerful in heaven before God to intercede for us. Today, as we celebrate her feast, as we honor her, let us ask her to intercede before God that this pandemic will come to an end. Once again, let us wish each other a very happy feast of our co-foundress, Saint Maria Mazzarello. May she bless and intercede for us. On this day, I would also like to express my thanks and the thanks of all the sisters to the outgoing students of this year, matric girls and class 12, who have generously gifted to the school with this beautiful painting that we have around here. This is the gift for the school and we are very grateful to them and for the parents who have contributed much. May Saint Mary Mastrello pray for us and may she intercede and inspire we, us, we the Salishan sisters, that after her example, we may continue to love the young girls and serve them through our education and many other services that we can offer especially to the young people. Thank you, and once again, a very happy feast of our co-foundress. I'm scared. People are dying. They say that it's typhoid fever. Maine, Maine, please hurry. The priest is at our house and he's talking with Papa. You realize how contagious this is, don't you? Sending Mayin to care for our relatives with typhoid? No, 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 Father, it's impossible. How can I take care of the house all alone? And the children as well. And the vineyards? I can't stop everything. Mayin works as hard as three laborers put together. Listen, I can't send Mayin. But if she really wants to go, I have no objection. I'll go, Papa. Mama, I'll go. Those people do need me.
they have all recovered. And soon you'll be well again, too. Don't be Torino. Would you please bring me every day the Eucharist? We should have told them no. But you had to insist. Well, what are you saying? But just think what a nice gift it would be if, if I were to die. A martyr by love. <clears throat> I can't bear the thought of not having her here anymore. This house seems so empty. used to say to her, please slow down, my Eve. She's my first child. Will she get better? And if so, how much? Papa, don't say that. Certainly she will get better. Let's pray. Let's pray just like she did. Holy Mary has looked after you and has left you with us so that no one in our house cries. Jesus, I can no longer get up at dawn. I can no longer do the heavy work. Come to Mass in the early morning. If you give me a little more life, please let all this be forgotten. I am happy just to be remembered by you. In the spring, will my strength return? Life returns. Everything is reborn. But not my strength. Mayne of the farmhouses. Mayne, stronger than her father's laborers. God, what do you want from me? Help me to understand. Give me a sign. Show me the way. If I knew how to work as a dressmaker, just think of all the girls I could rally together. How I could help them. 
I could keep them off the streets from danger, and I could bring them closer to you, Mary. What's happening? What is it that I'm seeing? You entrust them to me. Mine! I must speak to you. But straight away, not here. Let's go. I think I understand now that the Lord wants the two of us to take care of the girls in Mornese. Actually, Mother Mary wants it. And I'm certain of it. Holy Mary! The two of us? Did she tell you this? Yes. In a certain sense, she did tell me. Listen, Petronilla. You're not strong enough. You can't work in the vineyards. And I, too, after the illness, can't do it anymore. Yet both of us care very much for many of the girls in Mornese. Isn't that so? Yes, of course. But what will we tell them? I've given it some thought. Don't you think that if we knew how to sew, we could actually succeed? You want to learn to be a dressmaker? We want to learn to become dressmakers. <laughs> Me too. But how? Who will want to teach us how to sew? Valentino Campi. He's a good tailor and an excellent Christian. Yes. Yes, maybe you're right. <laughs> but promise me we will only sew for women. <laughs> promise? Listen carefully. We will learn to sew to keep the girls away from harm's way, to better themselves, to bring them closer to Jesus and to love him. But how do we care for them, and how do we feed them all? We will live off of our work. When she was 15, she joined the education of the daughters of Mary Immaculate run by her parish priest, Father Dominica Bristarino. It was a precursor to the founding of the Salesian Sisters. She too did receive a heavenly mandate while walking down the uninhibited slopes of Borgo Alto, 
she saw a group of girls playing in the non-existent playground and a strong voice firm and steady communicate to her the divine mission i entrust them to you was it a trick a hallucination yet here she was awake walking in full consciousness the education of girls was a particular need in the 19th century and Mary decided to devote herself to this work. She pursued some of her girlfriends to join her in this project. Fifteen young women now comprised the daughter of Mary Immaculate, Father Priscereno, proved himself with training them in the spiritual life and managed to secure a place for some of them to live in community. Thus was the beginning of religious life in Morrissey. The daughter took in a few young girls and housed them, schooling them in the faith and handing down their knowledge of trace making. Mary Mazzarello, like minded soul solutions by instant, Don Bosco found a ready, active, and creative collaborator. In 1872, he founded the Society of the Salvation Sister FMA with Mary Mazzarelli. The always a cheerful giver was her motto. At the age of 35, she was now Sister Mary Mazzarello. She and the 14 other newly professed religious sisters made up the fledgling order. The daughter of Mary, Hope of Christians, were officially founded. Mary Mazzarello lived her daughters and educational tourism promoted by holiness of life and translated into love of God and Daniel. Today, the Salvation Sister, numbering around 13,000, are working in 94 countries, though 1,800 educational centers in all the continents of the world. India welcomed the first Salvation Sisters in 1992 and in the Northeast 1922. Healing from the hill of Mornesay, you've born for us to show the Just that she possessed. 